Also, at King of the Ring, Roddy Piper versus Jerry Lawler. Jesus, did that ever come out of nowhere or what? I I mean, it didn't in the sense that Lawler's been, like, burying him on the show every couple of weeks. Right. But it was like, I figured that Roddy would show up. Yeah. And then they'd have a big confrontation or whatever, and then they would announce the match. Instead, they announce the match. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Yes. Oh, they're going to be wrestling. And then they're like, we're going to hear from Rowdy Roddy Piper. And so they cut to the most bullshit, horrible VHS interview you've ever seen and they're on the set of rowdy roddy piper's newest film what was it called tough and deadly tough and deadly oh, look at this movie actually yes you, you, straight you, to the same vhs on. tape that they were recording this on in fact and uh they uh they do the deal and it's roddy giving an interview who has billy blinks and for some fucking reason that i can't figure out although i have my theories it appears he did three di- different interviews Sure. In three different outfits, <laughs> in three different places, actually and they took the seven seconds that was good on each of them and spliced it together with odd snow in the middle, like you'd see, you know, at the end of a VHS tape after the thing. Sure. And I'm like, what in the absolute fuck is this? It was the weirdest fucking thing I ever saw. It's like he would start talking. He would talk for like, you know, seven, eight seconds, and then it would go. And then he'd be in another fucking outfit, in another place, continuing this promo. And then he'd go eight, nine, ten seconds, and then ksh, now he's in another place, in another outfit, still cutting the fucking promo. I'm like, did you tape this? Like, did you tape it? And then you're like, this fucking sucks. Can we do it again, Roddy? Ah, I can't do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. All right, we'll come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Try it again. This is fucking terrible. Roddy, can we do one more? I'm not available today. Maybe tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Same place. Cuts the same. Then they get all three of them, they're like, these all fucking suck. Like, what the fuck can we do? Someone goes, well, you know, let's take uh, 10 seconds of each and uh, splice them together into a really weird fucking interview, and uh, we'll be done with it. And that's what they did. It was fucking weird. Would have been better if it was in a darkened room and he was two inches from your face. Nothing would have made this better. Okay. Except if you had actually done one good interview. All right, I found the uh, plot description for Tough and Deadly here on uh, IMDb. Uh, Roddy Piper plays a man in this film. I'm not making this up. Elmo Freach. <laughs> <laughs> not even NXT would accept this name. Elmo Freach. That's true. That's true. Even NXT would be like, no, you can't be <laughs> Elmo Freach. Okay, buddy? Elmo Freach is a private investigator who is contacted by CIA agent John Portland who suffers from amnesia to reveal a dubious case of drug smuggling involving big fish from Washington, D.C. and the CIA. Written by Steve Cohen and huh. Otto C. Pazzo. Bullshit. I was telling you what the website That guy's is. name is not Otto P. S- Otto C. Pazzo. Otto C. Pazzo? Let's see over there. Chris, Otto, C. Pazzo. Otto C. Pazzo. Otto C. Pazzo. Otto C. Pazzo. He is now, I don't believe this for one second. Uh, he is known for tough and deadly and balance of power. Vinny, your story is less believable than these guys in, that were uh, landscaping and they saw the Undertaker in a ditch. <laughs> Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! You had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask. My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me. What are you doing to my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. <laughs> I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home and I just... I start running the water through my hair 
and like I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ronnie Shear marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret of mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.